Hello Vira users, Alex here, your Vira guide, and today I want to show you how you can link your HDRI images to Vira Sun. And this is a technique that I learned from Peter Guthrie. Let me show you how we're going to do it. First thing that we need to create in this scene is Vira plane. That way our HDRI will have surface and it will not go uh, below the point zero so we're gonna put a plane and I'm going to create another object I'm gonna take a teapot right here and I'm gonna add a little bit more segments to it so it will be nice nicely rendered now let's do some textures I'm gonna do for the teapot teapot I'm gonna make a basic Refractive texture, uh, shader, I'm gonna add Fresnel and 22 IOR depth, really reflective, 100% reflection, a little bit blurry, 0.98 will be good. I'm gonna make it ward, not that sharp, and 0.75 on anisotropy, so our reflections will twist a little bit to the side. To get this really nice look all right uh, second texture is for the plane I'm gonna make it neutral 128 neutral gray and I'm gonna apply it to my V-ray plane the next thing is what you want to do is to create V-ray camera so let's go and create our V-ray physical camera put it towards our teapot and what I usually do is I reset my V-Ray camera to be in the um, standards of the industry which is F number 4 and uh, light is neutral white all the rest I leave by the default I don't really touch it so I'm gonna press C and correct my view now the next thing is I want to go and create V-Ray light, V-Ray dome light in order to load my HDRI. So I'm going to create here V-Ray dome, V-Ray light. I'm going to set it to dome and lower the intensity to 1. By default it's 30. I'm going to go and pick up bitmap. Not a uh, standard V-Ray HDRI loader because through that bitmap we're gonna use we're gonna to load open EXR file and now I need to drag and drop this open XR file into my editor slot switch it to environment and from screen make it spherical because we want to wrap it around the sphere now we can go ahead and adjust our rendering settings which is uh, common tab we're going to I'm going to deselect anti-aliasing and I'm going to deselect filter mapping I'm gonna switch my color mapping to be Reinhardt gamma 2.2 and multiplier 0.25 Reinhardt uh, is a rendering method got tendency to overexpose images this is why I need to lower my multiplier to be 0.25 in order to uh, not go to overexposure. Now I need to show save frames and we can click render and test render it. Oops, we need to apply our texture, our reflective texture to the teapot and render it one more time. Now as you see here our V-Ray sky from the HDRI image being uh, reflected in the image. The next thing is you want to create V-Ray Sun and link it to your HDRI file simply because the shadows are not strong enough. Let me just emphasize this one more time. Uh, let me do another render. As you see here, we get very, very soft shadows from that guy. 
let's enable frame buffer whoops let's enable frame buffer it will be easier from us to see the shadow right here so we get to see the shadow of our V-Ray HDRI now the next thing is to add V-Ray Sun in order to increase the appearance of that shadow so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go uh, to the V-Ray lights and select V-Ray Sun and position it like this and we're gonna add V-Ray Sky Environment because we're gonna use that to test position of our V-Ray Sun try to make your Sun in the middle of the V-Ray Dome and align it so we're gonna align it to our dome light only on the Z axis and we're gonna use pivot and we're gonna press OK now we're going to select the target and also align it to our V-Ray Dome press OK so something like that should work pretty good right now we need to create another camera from the direction of the target positioning towards the very sun and we're going to increase its uh, focal length to 18 Let's press C select the second camera uh, move it up a little bit and select target and move the target also up this way we'll be able to see the Sun and with the white angle from our camera we'll be able to catch pretty much everything now what we need to do is add show save frame and click render so we see our teapot we see our HDRI and we see the Sun but it's overexposed so it's hard to tell where exactly our Sun is so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the camera and I'm going to increase F number to 16 and this actually is going to lower the intensity. I'm going to click one more time render and as you see here we can see where our sun positioned in the sky. Now I need to match my very sun to the uh, HDRI sun position. I'm going to clone this image and I'm going to give my V-Ray Sun less intensity 0.5 and I'm going to give the size to 2 so I'll be able to see it now I'm going to turn off my HDRI and I'm gonna lift my Sun up and make a render now I can compare the position of my very sun to the one that in the image I can see already that it's a little bit too high so I'm gonna lower it but and make another render and that's about it this is uh, pretty much same position maybe a little bit higher just slightly higher All right, now it's good. So I'm gonna change, switch to the, to the first camera, and I'm gonna make a test render just to see how this stuff works. As you see here, very sharp shadows coming from the sky. Now, what we can do is we can put this in sRGB space if you want to work and get a little bit less shadows but if you want to keep working with uh, linear space you can uh, just use that very frame buffer alright now what we can do is we need to activate our very Sun and make another render with with the environment and as you see here 
our sun and our uh, shadows from our sun and HDRI image are aligned. Let me just prove you that for a sec. I'm going to turn off the Vray Sun. I'm going to make another render without it. So you see the shadow is pretty much positioned in the same same location. So we matched it. Now we need to link it. So I'm going to turn my sun back again. I'm going to select the first uh, the source of your sun and the target. Click on the linking and drag and select my Viri dome. So we link now uh, to our dome light and if I rotate we actually get rotation together with the sun. Let me show you how the shadow works. And as you see here the only thing is we did rotate at our sun but the shadow stayed on the place because our texture is not linked. Now we need to link our texture to Viri Sun. And I'm just going to press Ctrl Z to go back to that position. This is the linked position. In this position both shadows align. So from that position we're going to go into wire parameters and select rotation Z rotation because we want to rotate on the Z axis. And then we're going to select our very light as an object and tell to rotate the texture on U offset coordinates. So we're going to click this. And now as you see here, uh, we'll be doing the rotation. And we need to link it to our uh, Z rotation of, of the sun. For that, we're going to use uh, magic script you can find it in this uh, documentation of that tutorial below this video so we're uh, going to link those guys expression very light UE offset I'm gonna press here add this tag and press connect all right so we get object here connected to the busier floating point right here cool now if we do rotate our very sun and uh, click render we can see that our very sun and our shadows are linked together and the sky is actually rotates along with the sun the texture of the sky let's do another test As you see here, the sky changes rotation, changes direction. Um, if you want to lower the intensity, you can always do it here. If it's too strong, you can actually lower it to about 0.2. So the shadows will not be that strong. It's a little bit it's less softer. We get less exposure. And if you want to soften the shadows here, you can always go and increase sun multiplier right here multiplier let's put five in order to get a little bit softer shadows As you see here the shadows become softer um, just to emphasize that idea let me select the very sun and increase this let's put 20 just to get really nice and soft shadows Oops. All right, so you can see the shadows getting really nice and soft. So this is an extra, an additional, um, an additional tool to have really good sun and uh, get a really nice ambient inclusion from V-Ray Sky to get all of those guys working together. So you will have a little bit more control over the shadows, of the sharpness of the shadows. Okay. You can download this scene below this video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. And good luck with your setups of HDRI and V-Ray Sun. I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.